Gibbon. My name's Nick. I'm here to tell you all about the handsome, most wonderful person I know. Sorry, man, I can't read your head right anymore. These are my words now. First off, thank you to everyone who had a hand or a credit card in making this day as special as it was. Did she cry more than me? <laughs> <laughs> Look good. During those years growing up, we shared lots of memories and laughter together. From teaching me how to ride a bike by pushing me down a hill to teaching me how to play drinking games at the ripe age of nine. I like pretty debilitating syndrome going up called middle child syndrome. It's pretty serious. That was the first time I ever met her. She literally said no words to me. It was great. One of the best nights ever. But from that night, I knew there was something special about her. One night, he comes home, and he's kind of pacing around the kitchen a little bit. And he said, hey, is Judy around? Could she come join us? And of course, I'm like, Judy, get your butt in here. Blake's got something to tell us. You've been my biggest cheerleader through my crazy career so far, and I'm blessed every day. You not only allowed me to follow my dreams, but also stuck by my side through it all. You've shown me how to open my heart and love unconditionally, and for that, I will be forever grateful. Wow. <laughs> so, so beautiful. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Blake and Nicole, as you stand here in the presence of God and these witnesses, I remind you that love, loyalty, and trust are the basis of a mature and fulfilling relationship. Marriage is a serious undertaking. It is intended to bind your lives together forever and is not to be taken lightly. Your engagement set into motion the interweaving of your lives, and we hope that you will continue to grow closer throughout your years together. None of us knows what the future will bring, yet the love for one another and trust in the strength of your union makes possible the act of faith you are making today. I hope you know that you are everything I could ever need on the good days and the bad. You give me a reason to look forward to tomorrow when stepping one foot in front of the other feels impossible. Thank you for reaching for my hand when I'm lost and for holding my head high when I feel like giving up. My eyes can see the sun because of you and I hope I'm able to give you as much light as you have given me. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. I know. I've been waiting to see you all day. I know. I've seen you outside a couple of times from the window. You look like you've been having a good time. It's good, but I'm ready to see you. Me too. I'm ready to marry you. I love you. I love you. I can't wait to marry you. I promise to never stop making you laugh, even though my jokes stink. I promise, I promise to always love you, even though you snore from time to time and shoot a basketball with two hands. We'll work on that. I love you so much. You're the love of my life and my best friend. family and watch you become a dad. I can't wait to continue to travel with you and I can't wait to grow old and stay together. <laughs> Most important of all, I can't wait to keep loving you more and more every day for the rest of our lives. For your marriage, I wish you joy and I wish you, um, I wish you to enjoy the journey um, of life and whatever's in front of you. I'm so proud of the two of you. Welcome to the family and go Hawks! Yeah. <laughs>
since day one of our relationship, you have allowed me to be my true self, whether it be the dorkiest, the craziest, or the sleepiest version of me. In honor of what you have done for me every single day over the past four years, I vow to you this. To do my best to make you laugh every day and continue to boo you when your jokes aren't funny. <laughs> And most importantly, I vow to love you unconditionally and without hesitation from this day until my last day. Friends and family, maybe I'll be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake and Nicole Hykus.